Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our Earth 14B Tomcat and we're looking at night vision, interior lighting and exterior lighting. There's quite a lot of controls for this so I thought we better go through it. So we're on the runway, the sun's going down so let's start getting first of all our interior and exterior lighting sorted. So first we'll do the interior lighting. So the F-14 has a movable utility light in the front and the rear cockpit and that's simulated by the flashlight in DCS so if we go left alt and L you can see wherever I move about now I've got the the uh, simulated utility light okay so we've got first of all a white floodlight and we can have that on off bright or dim so sorry about my head movements here so I'm gonna have that on bright just because I can and we've got a red floodlight that we can have on bright medium or dim so let's turn that up to bright then we've got our master light dial so our ACM panel here we can have our lights on from between one up to nine so that's those on our AOA indexer up on the near the HUD we can have the lights on for that up to nine the main instrument panel we can have the backlighting on for that for the main instruments and you can see you kind of got this big red glow now of the dials which looks really cool we've got the uh, console lights uh, backlights uh, which are red as well so this is all lit up now and this is all lit up looks looks great when the uh, sun's gone down next we've got our hook bypass we can have field or we can have carrier now this is a bit of a controversial one so i'm literally just going to read what it says in the manual it says this sets the aoa lights to either field or carrier mode with the switch in carrier and the wheels down the aoa lights flash if the hook isn't down some of you guys have said it does other things than that but that's literally all it says in the manual so next we're going to go back to the uh, Rio seat. So we look down and to the right again. We can have our instrument lights on. Up to full. And you can see a red glow around the instruments. And we can have our console lights on. Lovely red glow again. And if we want we can have our floodlight on. Our white floodlight. And if we want we can have our red floodlight. Uh, careful not to damage your night vision with the floodlights. It looks great in here. Really, really cool. So back to the front cockpit and I'm going to start doing the exterior light. So that starts with the taxi lights, we're going to turn them on. And you'll see that there are no taxi lights. So what's gone wrong? Well, it's because there is an extra button we need and it's here on the throttle. This uh, seems to be frustrating a lot of people. If we want to turn our lights on, we have to turn our exterior light master switch toggle on. Um, you can have even an auto off bind or a toggle. I've got a toggle and I've just set it to the L key on the keyboard. So you'll need to go and set that up to be able to have lights. So, okay. Press L and our lights are on. So next we've got our anti-collision lights that we can turn off or on. So we're going to have that turned on. We can choose, then we can choose whether our position lights are flashing or whether they're steady. We'll have them steady. Then whether our tail position lights are off, dim or bright. And we're going to have that bright. And our wing position lights, whether they are off, dim or bright. And we're going to have them bright. And finally we have our exterior formation light brightness, so we can right click that all the way up to maximum. So let's take a last look outside. Okay, so night is now upon us and we need to be able to see outside. So the next thing is our night vision goggles, adjust controls. And I'm going to go to search goggles and we've got night vision goggles toggle on and off right shift h and we've got night vision goggles gain up and gain down so okay right shift and h and we have our night vision goggles on now depending how dark it is outside it's not particularly dark at the moment we're going to want to change our gain so with the other controls we can knock it down or knock it up so if it's completely black we're going to knock it up if it's low relatively uh, not particularly dark yet then we're going to knock it down uh, note that the focal distance is set that you cannot whatever you do you can't actually look at your instruments so if you want to look at your instruments with night vision mode on you can either just turn it off to look at the instruments or do what I do which is when you want to look at the instruments rather than pointing at them point up and left and right so I want to look at the speedo I'm gonna I can see that down there like that but I want to look at BDHI on the down and right I can see it like that that's just how I do it right that's everything I want to show I hope that helps and see you later